Yeah. Yeah, Underground Sig evolved out of the fanzines. There were material comics, comic fan fanzines, and uh, a lot of parody going on. And uh, I had the good fortune to attend Crawford High School, along with a number of people involved in the school, and with and knew this guy sitting to my You're left. Pointing to me like a Sasquatch or something. He is. <laughs> he is the Sasquatch of underground comics in San Diego, because Scott's uh, father was a security head of security for the San Diego Zoo, and Scott uh, had a summer job, uh, I think it was a summer job. No, I, I, was I, I part a part-time job, school, a part-time yeah. job. Um, a uh, trash man. Working as a groundskeeper at the zoo, and that meant that in, he would be by the exit of the zoo. This is very important because in San Diego, one of the first places that you could buy an underground comic was outside the exit of the San Diego Zoo. Because everybody knew those were written and drawn by animals. Exactly. <laughs> and there would be a long-haired, long uh, uh, hippie character with uh, a bunch of uh, current undergrounds for sale outside. Hey, buddy, you want to buy an underground? And uh, the animal spread out like that. And, and Scott was there, and he, and he he bought a couple things and brought them and showed them to me. And I went, wow, where is this? And so then I went, the following Saturday, I went with Scott down to the zoo. And uh, you know, when, I, when I worked there, because my dad was not yet the chief of security, but he had definite rounds during the day. And I'd go out and tell the guys when my dad, what my dad's schedule was, <laughs> and they'd give me a discount on the books. So they'd pack up and like go to their car and smoke a couple of joints and then come back after the coach was clear. <laughs> so I kept them from getting rousted. My old man never knew that, but he knew that the little chest I had full of undergrounds and that I had locked, suddenly these things were laying around. And he's like, what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> but what was the, the people here actually doing undergrounds? Well, they were a, a, a real eye-opener for all of us. John Pound uh, also. And uh, John was uh, doing very talented uh, uh, parodies. He could do these wizard paste-ups of zip tone and things that would make it look like a he would do famous monsters covers. He'd go up to visit Forrest Ackerman, and he'd, he'd, he'd make a thing that looked like it came off the newsstand. Yeah, crazy like a dummy things, cover. A dummy yeah. cover with these cr crazy captions that looked like the real ones, but were subversively different. My favorite was Now with More Typos. <laughs> <laughs> now with More Typos. Reprints you've never seen before. <laughs> that was another one. Yeah. Uh,